Alright, hello everyone. I, uh, hope you can hear me. Let me turn off the, uh, the music and the text. It says that there's audio coming in. I don't know what it is. Let me just hear. Let me just listen. Is there any? Yeah, I guess there is. Huh, okay, that's strange. Um, hello everyone who's joining me, such as Akihiro Kazuro. Thanks for joining me again. I can read it. Um, Theo Tombstone, what's up, man? A lot of people talking about ass. Um, we have, I'm going to move my mic so I can see both of you, both my TV and the thing at the same time. Um, we got, uh, Glenn Shira, Shira Ishii. God, you guys have Japanese names and it's super tough. Um, yo, Tanner, what's up? Not much. Just here to play some games. That's all. So. I asked on Twitter, what should I play? And the people voted that we are going to be playing with the Dreamcast. Now, my microphone is actually right in front of the Dreamcast. So if you start hearing crazy scratching noises, um, you'll know that it is because of the fact that uh, the Dreamcast is a, is a very loud console. It makes terrifying screeching sounds as you play it. Um, so, are we all ready to get started with some games? Today's game of choice, I just finished Eyes of Heaven on the PS4, but I think let's go back, back to the beginning, with a little, little known game called Heritage for the Future. Actually, it's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heritage for the Future is the first one, I'm pretty sure? I'm not sure. Let's hop in, though. So, this is the Dreamcast version. Of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game, made by none other than ya boys at Capcom, uh, working on um, kind of a new engine. I know it works on the same engine as the later Darkstalker games, so we'll have to see how it goes. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to play this. I highly doubt I will be unlocking anything of value, because I tested it out, and this game was quite difficult. So, JoJo's... Bizarre Adventure. So the interesting thing is you actually have both JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and the prequel JoJo's Venture in here. Um, which is strange because y the, there's real no need to play the first version of it. So uh, as we'll see here, as we get the, the uh, Hirohiko Araki's signature enemies. Such as that charismatic man right there, Revived. Well, there's really only one revived enemy, Dio. He's the only revived one. I don't know why it said um, it's enemies, but look at this is what I live for. These sprite graphic intros from old Capcom games. Oh, maybe I should put. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I forgot to put on the capture card. Okay. Let's try that again. This time with the capture card running. I was like, hey, why isn't it appearing on stream? This might be why. <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to come back and see people's comments in a couple seconds being like, what are you talking about? There's nothing on screen. No, shut up. It's right there. It's right there. So. Let's get started. This time with me explaining the actual situation. Capcom. Every time, every time I see um, Capcom, all I think is Marvel vs. Capcom's Capcom Presents Marvel Comics. So, right here, we have two games, JoJo's Venture, which is the first JoJo fighting game, and then we have JoJo's Bizarre Venture, which is like the full version. I'm gonna go to options for a sec to sort of config everything, because I am a person who likes to config stuff, such as putting difficulty down to very easy, uh, turning off the time limit, and, um... That's that's about it. I don't know what easy mode is, but I'm, I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna play on mono because the TV that I'm playing on actually only has mono from my end But you guys will can get stereo. So yeah, everyone's saying I can't see everything. It's okay my dudes It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put vibration on because I actually have a vibration pack in uh, and it actually makes it a lot more fun I don't know what flash does but hey, he's the only DC superhero I enjoy so let's put that on and let's get started with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the Dreamcast. 
It's so weird to see this new art that Araki drew for the game, and it's very clearly a later JoJo style. Like, that definitely looks around Part 5 era. And interestingly, there is Part 5 references in this. Or rather, one that I know of. I only know of one, really. So, now that we're into the actual game proper, there's Hirohiko Araki's signature. One more time. Oh, we're not enemies revived. It's whole horse! An entire horse has appeared in front of us. Japan really likes him, so that's why I guess he's appearing in the intro. I think you can- I think multiple characters can appear. So... There he is. The entire horse. So I'm gonna have to apologize. Um... The way my recording setup is right now, unlike playing HD games, I'm playing on my CRT, which is in the opposite direction of looking at the, uh, the chat. So I won't be able to do it except every now and again. So, let's get started with arcade mode. And Darby, in a weird Capcom voice, says, Open the game! And I'm gonna say story. And so I say, he says good in then a normal Darby voice, so I don't know, man, I don't know. Um, and we're gonna play. You might be like, who are we gonna play as? Because we got a lot of characters here. Jotaro, Avdol, Iggy, um, Ma Maharahia, Midler. Everyone remembers Midler, right? Yep, everyone's favorite. She's actually kind of original for this game. Joseph, Kakyoin, Dio, Polnareff, Alessi, uh, Debo, not Debo, but Debo, Iced, Vanilla Ice. Whole horse, which it accidentally selected because we took too long. Don't worry, I'll click out so we won't have to see this. Um, one second, one second, one second. I didn't mean because it's it's an arcade game. It has the classic sort of arcade limit thing, you know, where it's like time limits and stuff. So don't worry, we'll go back and check the last final characters. But this isn't all the characters. There are secret characters, most of which are palette swaps. Um, so don't worry, don't worry. Just we'll, we'll put this back. Quit. I hate. Avdol's default color scheme in this game. He looks like a doctor. So let's go back. Arcade mode. Once more. So, uh, story. And what we want to do is we want to, uh, okay, so then we got, uh, Chacha, Chaka, and Pet Shop. And then Black Polnareff. Although he should really be known as African American Polnareff. That's fine. We'll ignore that. Um, and we're going to play as Joseph. Because apparently. If you beat this as Joseph, you unlock one of the secret characters. So that's why. Uh, that's why we're gonna play. Um, Joseph Joestar travels to Japan after hearing news about his grandson, Jotaro. Thanks for coming, Dad! It's so cool because it's actually the full Stardust Crusaders. Holly, did you tell jo did Joseph tell you that he's been possessed by an evil spirit? I'm Richard Epcar. Yes, he told me. Then he unlocked himself in a jail cell and was recusing to come out. I understand, but before I do anything else, let me see my grandson. Joseph and his comrades, comrades, go to the jail where Jotaro has been imprisoned. Has imprisoned himself, rather. Episode 1, Star Platinum. So this game follows its own entire sort of, like, episodic function way before, way before, um, the actual show. I love this right here, this, this frame. Jotaro, get out of there! You can come home with me! Leave me alone, I don't need you. That's Jotaro's English voice. Stubborn as usual. Avdol, stand back while I take care of this. I understand, Mr. Joestar. It would be wise not to hold back. I know. Jotaro, I'll teach you the evil that possesses you now. You, oh my wa! Kisama. Great. Let's do this. So, it plays pretty much like Street Fighter. And by pretty much, I mean it's, you know, literally Street Fighter. So, but the interesting thing is every character has two movesets. So they have a stand-on and stand-off moveset. And each one plays pretty differently. So, see, I had a counter there. But when I do it normally, uh, with, with my stand on rather, with Hermit Purple actually being useful for once, um, he it then turns into instead a sort of I don't know how to say what it is. Like it's it's a kind of just a burst around you, like Blanca kind of. But we want to finish this with a super because it's so cool. There's his super, which I'm surprised he hit me out of. But if we super, come on, there we go. 
punches with the memories of Lisa Lisa and is training with Caesar. You get the panels, and remember, at this time, um, J America has never heard of any JoJo except for part one. I mean, part three. So these panels and stuff are so foreign to it. It's so cool. It's such a cool idea. So, okay, that's actually such a good technique, though. So what Jotaro does is he turns his stand off so that Star Platinum does his super on his own, then attacks with a crouch to knock you out of your, out of your, um, out of your super. Let's see if we can use another super here. I don't know if we have another. Oh my god, we got into a stand clash! I didn't think we'd be able to! I, d I never knew you could even stand clash with Jotaro, but because- Okay, so stand clashes are if you do a super at the same time, your stands will literally have a clash in midair, and it is the coolest thing in any video game. He throws out a picture, to be continued appears, it's so good. It's so good. Oh. People talking about if, 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 if it's like DBZ, not at all. So it looks like you've been, uh, I uh, missed that. So it seems. Yari Yari Daze. And Dio is the one responsible for all this, says Abdal the Doctor. Yes, and it is our destiny to fight against him. Yeah, bit of an abridged story. One day, Jotaro was attacked by Kakyoin, a man who's under the control of Dio, so you can actually do that fight if you play as him. After his evil implant was removed, Kakyoin joined Joseph and company in a very heterosexual sort of four of them coming together movement. So we're going from Tokyo to Singapore. Remember how they went to Singapore? That was kind of a dumb thing if they wanted to go to, to, to Egypt, but I guess back then you couldn't. Episode 2, Ebony Devil. What's up with the Ebony Devil? Old man, I'll destroy you by cursing you into oblivion! Old man, it's not age, it's experience. You could use some. Let me help you. Also, so it does have voice acting, and you can actually hear, oh my god, and stuff in, in it, but uh, it's, uh, it's a little quiet being a classic Capcom RPG. And the cool thing is, you get all the locations where they fought, you know? Like, it's not like it's, it's, you know, totally a bad adaptation. It's a great adaptation in my eyes, you know? It's the way America would have got the story of Stardust Crusaders before they could even get it, you know? Now, I wish I could sort of see the, um, the rest of the moves, because you have a move list here. Oh, wait. Press light, medium, heavy to go to the next one. Well, okay, that's going to be really tough on this. Oh, do I have to unpause it? Okay, so... Oh, that's it? Okay, well, that doesn't help super much. That's fine. Um, attack list off. So he does have a grab. So, um, Debo, as he's called in this one, is a bit weird because he's a puppet character in a classic Capcom RPG way before, you know, the Marvel vs. Capcoms and stuff. Let's see if we can finish this with a super. Oh, we're not going to be able to. That's fine. So yeah, the cool, so as you can see, he uses his, his uh, puppet in a way like uh, Kankuro from the Naruto series. Uh, but otherwise, he can also fight on his own. Oh, wait, is that going to hit? Yeah, it will. Nice, going to hit them both for maximum damage. M -m 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 maximum yeah, but, uh, I, oh, right, and then it's behind. Well, the, it's like, it, they, they sort of pincer attack you, or they can, rather, you know? So you do, your stand can break off once its meter is done, but of course it's sort of like, you don't have to super worry about that. Will this work again? Yes, it will. Cool. And I love the... The giant face react. They have a reaction face. If you win with a super, their faces go up and you can see it. And it's super cool because it's their straight panels from it, which is unheard of in this time. I mean, maybe on the arcade, but definitely not on the Dreamcast. Polnareff is good. Polnareff is shaped like a friend. Episode 3 Geb. So let's go beat up Ndul. Or as he's called in this one, Ndour. Like Endure, but N. Apostrophe, D-O-U-R. I prefer in duel myself, but uh, and he was meant to be playable, but isn't in this one. 
Our new comrade is supposed to join us here. You know, Iggy loves coffee-flavored chewing gum. Oh, he has a classic face, except when you play as him, he has the new face. Is that our new comrade? It, it can't be. Hey, are you saying that the dog is joining us in our fate? Don't get any closer. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Va! No, no, no! He helped me! Get this dog off me! I am French! What? Wait, watch it! There, wait, there he is! Takes a seat. Haha! <laughs> they finally realized that I can attack them here with my stand! So this stage is garbage. This stage is super garbage. <laughs> Let's get going. What are people talking about? Alright, I forgot. Old Joseph is the only character who can't use his, uh... Can't use a double jump. Oh no, I'm okay. So how about platforming in a, uh, in a Capcom Street Fighter style game? Oh no! There's, there's Avdol! I don't know if I could have even avoided those. Oh god, oh no! It keeps happening! Oh jeez, I just gotta get to him. Oh, I'm done. Wait. No, I might be good. I can do this, I'm nearly there. Oh, I was so close, I could see in him! Well, okay, let's try that again. Yeah, no, this is, this is... It's not the best. Not the best. This minigame is ass, indeed it is. Um, no, we're gonna keep being in. We'll switch his palette, though. We'll get blue with red hermit purple. Because why would hermit purple be anything but purple? You fool. Load times are definitely there. They're definitely not not a thing. Let's try this again. This time with the power of hermit red to sort of save us. Let's try and, uh, oh jeez, that's like water mines. I hate Geb. I mean, it's better in, it's, it's better in, in Eyes of Heaven where, you know, you can actually avoid this stuff. Okay, so I can punch those at least. It doesn't help that I'm playing with a D-pad. Playing fighting games with D-pads, kids, is never recommended. Oh, the backwards ones. Uh, I'm gonna make it. You just need one hit. You just need one hit. Oh. Okay. One more. Good. Okay. Open the game. We'll pick up Vine Fedoraman. That's his new name. Yeah, this stage is pretty trash. This stage is pretty bad. But it's okay. It's okay, we'll get through it. We almost got it that time. Hope there's no... No, uh... Limited continues. There might be in the end. I was gonna... Gotta hate the big gaps. Ah. Wish there was some way to avoid those, but there's totally not. Okay, so... Who thought this was a good idea, though? Who at Capcom was like, you know, we need platforming in a Street Fighter-like game. Someone said that this was a good idea. Ow, don't jump that. Don't fall under that! We're nearly there again. It's okay, we can dash. Just gonna run up and punch him right square. Or not. 
or it's fine. That's fine. Mm. Mm. That's okay. Good. At least we'll get to see all his colors. Okay, no, he only has four colors. That's fine. Easy mode is just input, it's not game difficulty level. I already have game difficulty level at its very lowest. Alrighty, alrighty. It's okay, guys. We got this. Let's just channel our inner Joseph Joestar and, you know, do it for Holly. Do it for our little girl. We most certainly would not, you know, give her a brother or stepbrother who has a stand and, you know, from an illicit relationship. That would most certainly never happen. There's no way. Joseph Joestar never cheated on Holly. <laughs> Except with a much more attractive Japanese woman. What? Oh god. Okay. We got this, we got this. Jump! Or not, that's fine. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay, we got it. We seem to have unlimited continues, so all we gotta do is get there. And punch him once, or not. Or not. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I just gotta be more careful. There is seemingly no time limit, so that's okay. It's okay, guys. It's cool. Let's calm down. Let's talk about things. So how was today's JoJo, my dudes? I thought it was one of the best episodes in a long time. Especially when uh, Jotaro started punching Sheer Heart Attack and it played the Stardust Crusaders beatdown theme instead of the one from the newer JoJo, you know. I thought it was absolutely wonderful of an episode. Okay, so these dudes, you do have to jump over. This, you have to jump. The hitbox on that one is weird, though. And I can't do my back techs, because it treats it as a backwards quarter circle. Punch the waves. Okay, we're good. So far. Crouching jabs, my friends. We Virtua Fighter. I'm going. Calm yourself. That semi worked. Just then we're gonna get the ones that sort of shoot out soon. Just gotta get to you. Just gotta punch you. There we go! God, I hate you, Endure. We did it. We did it. Isn't Holly his daughter? No, what I meant is, I meant, um, like, cheat, like, like, not cheat on her, but, like, cheat with her, if that makes sense. Like, what I meant is, whatever, it's okay. We're going from Abu Dhabi to Jeddah. Jeddah. Next episode, High Priestess. So, remember the episode with the submarine? They decided, hey, that stand is cool, but it's a shame that she herself has no design. So they actually got a Rocky to design Midler as a character. Um, hey, how long will it take to get to Cairo from here? We've reached Cairo within three to four days. We'll... The enemy could appear at any time and attack from any place. Be careful. So Midler is actually a redesigned, um, what's her face from part four? Uh, Yukiko. She's just a remodeled Yukiko. You must be a new stand wielder. She actually has Yukiko's face and a lot of her, her, um, all the stuff is, is based on her. Young lady, learn some manners or you'll lose much more than this battle. 
So yeah, Midler, they got Araki to make a new design because they like the stand for Midler. Um, despite her appearing as literally nothing in the show. Um, which is weird because her stand, like, also does very little, you know? Like, it's, it's not really like... Like, it's, it really just feels like it's Capcom's kind of OC for this game, more than anything. Because it can just sort of become anything, and they play with that, you know? As you can see, it's just doing stuff. But it is, that is Yukiko's face that is, uh, that's, that's coming out of it. Can't grab out of that. There is also a roll button. Oh, also that's a taunt. Didn't mean to do that. There is a roll button, which is like, you know, CVS and stuff, but... Which can be used in the air, apparently. I just learned. Very interesting. This game got combos. It's a it's a it's a Capcom fighter, you know. It's like you don't don't got worries, man. It's good stuff. Kind of wasting my meter a bit, but that's okay. My boy Joseph got this. Did he grab her or not? I wish you could grab it, like, from any state or something. Like, I think that'd be super cool, but it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. It's okay. Don't mind the scissors. There we go. Oh, we, we almost got it. I kind of want to win on a super to show how her face is literally Yukiko's, just redrawn. But, uh... We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we can get this. You, you, you can do stuff with Joseph, you know, he's he's not exactly the doll sim, he kind of is, but he's not exactly. Okay, so also I love how the stone mask appears when it's time for the, um, the stand break. I think that's a nice touch. Oh, are we gonna get it? Yeah, there it is. In the uh, manga and anime, Midler actually wore a dress. Yeah, the whole thing is this is apparently what she looked like under the dress, but she was just a generic looking person. And I do find it's a bit sad that they didn't go all the way with it. Um, I know how King Crimson works. Don't lie, Captain Hazama. God, you all have Japanese names except for Banana Assassin, and I know exactly who you are. Oh, poor Midler, she's been defeated. Ah, oh, I see, so you must be her friend. We most certainly didn't battle in the city. Uh, no, I've been... <laughs> yeah. Alessi is a creep. Um, and so for him to just appear here is entirely non-canon and makes me angry, but I guess they just needed to put him somewhere. So Alessi is a very interesting character because if you remember, his whole shtick was turning characters into children, and also he has just a gun that he can shoot. Uh, his whole shtick was turning characters into children and then attacking them with an axe because they're weaker that way, right? That's how he plays here. Literally, you have to turn them into into children with certain attacks, and then you get his full move set. It's a very interesting choice for a character um, to have them have to put a character into a transformed state, and then from that they get their full move set. You know, I do really like that actually. So I uh, and the the good thing is, take a guess where what 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 child uh, Joseph turns into. He turns into Part 2 Joseph, um, which is an unlockable character if you beat, um, if you beat this mode with him. So I kind of want him because it's just like, it's so cool that, that they put in, they put in classic Joseph. Also, you can use, uh, Hammond Overdrive and stuff in his, in his standless form. The, the, the gun is actually such a cool, like, it, it works for him. Uh oh, he's gonna get me. So as you'll see, I become Joseph. 
who can fight, unlike a lot- uh, well, not really that well, but a lot of kids have access to one or two moves, but the interesting thing is some characters don't become children. They become instead, um, other characters? Like, one character becomes Wang Chun, the guy who held, um, Dio in his- in his head when he was a, you know, in, in head-only form. Uh oh Oh, jeez. I might lose this, actually. I don't think you can guard as a child, either, which makes sense, because, you know... Hit him. Come on, let's try and beat him. Gotta focus. Oh no. Oh no, we lost. Okay, that's fine. Joseph does wouldn't have his stand. That's... Yeah, so wouldn't Joseph be better? But no, he doesn't have the stand in that form, so that is true. Let's go, uh, yeah, let's go back to this one. I kind I mean, all the color schemes for, for, for old Joseph look good, I feel, but, um, there's some that are gross looking. I still, I hate Dr. Avdol, and why is that the default, but, oh well. In JoJo, no colors canon, except for people have said Dio's hair, but I've seen many examples of that not being true at all. Oh no, we, we became a child. Yeah, we, we have a couple moves with him, but not much. Oh jeez, the gun. Which is the ultimate technique, really. It's like, just shoot him with a gun. Um, Joseph's counter is pretty good, too. You have to try, try to get it, but... It looks like Alessi has a Nintendo Zapper, but I know it's not because, you know, it actually hurts. The Zapper does not, unless it is thrown at you. In which case, my friends, let me tell you, it is not the... Oh, jeez. It is not the most, uh... Not the most unhurting soft thing. It's hard to talk and play video games at the same time. Okay, so let's let's try and um. Wow, dang man, you got you got you get tougher tougher after the first down. It really feels like. Jeez, oh, how am I supposed to? There we go the power of Lisa. Lisa, who he peeked on naked. Man, that's awkward. You never do really get his reaction to that whole debacle. You just kind of get... Come on. Oh my god, the gun. Okay. No, stop that. Stop that. Sir! It's illegal to carry a gun here. This is not the United States of America. I don't know any of other of Joseph's supers. I don't even know if he has any others. He might not for what it's worth. That or it's, it's like weird commands. Nice, nice. We gonna get this? Close. Oh, I almost, I almost have it. But I'm a child. And you just kind of have to run with it. Like, you, you, you can't do much out of it. Oh, there we go. So apparently all the people are talking about when when Polnareff got changed into a child and had to take a bath with, with the grown woman. You guys are weird. Why do I look at the chat? We're going to come Ombo. Which, I don't even know if that's a real place, man. What do we got now? Anubis! Everyone's most overrated stand. <laughs> it's such it's such a, a, a really bad stand, really. It's just a sword that takes over the owner that can easily be defeated. Joseph Joestar, if I defeat you, Dio will be most pleased. I'll make you see a, the difference in our own in our fighting experience. Okay, um, like really, the way he's been killed is the most effective way. Throw him into the water. Boom. That's it. You're done. You know. Command grab? Super? Probably. Yeah. 
He does seem like a semi-grappler. You know, you know when, when a character has a lot of grapples but isn't their main shtick, like like a like a like a Zangi, for instance. Do I have him in a loop here? I do. Wow. I exploited the AI and got a perfect. I can't believe how easy the AI was to exploit. Ah, oh, there was my my perfect. Oh, I'm gonna try to do a command grab super. I'm gonna try. It ain't working, my dudes. No, it doesn't seem like he does. That's okay, because the power of Lisa Lisa compels you. Come on. There we go. Uh, might as well read the manga after Diamond is Unbreakable finishes. Please do that, because uh, I did that with Stardust Crusaders, and then it becomes a rabbit hole of, oh my god, this is so good. Uh, it's all been colorized, so go check out the, the colored versions, because it actually really makes it a lot easier. Because there's times when seeing what's happening is so tough. Jotaro and company arrive in Egypt and are looking for Dio's mansion. Where on earth is it? Hey, check it out! I am French! This must be the mansion. That was a lot quicker than in, than in the real JoJo. There it is. Dio's mansion. I can sense an overwhelming of presence. He is here. Multiple ellipses. Our journey has finally come to an end. Seeing there's no one to greet us, we should let ourselves inside. No pet shop? I guess pet shop's probably an Iggy exclusive enemy. An, uh, an Iggy exclusive enemy. Ch episode 7, Cream. Which is his actual stand name. Which, you know, I would have laughed at, but no, that's that's what it is. My favorite of the, of the, the tarot cards. Joseph and the others break up into two roots and sneak into the mansion. What could have caused this? The trail of destruction leads to the back of this place. I am Kyle Bear. Abdul's group must have run into some trouble. Look out! Your friends are gone! Now it's your turn to be destroyed by me, Vanilla Ice! What? What are you talking about? Die, Joseph! That is not Vanilla Ice voice, but you can't tell me to not. So... Let's beat up Cream and Vanilla Ice. Who I do like the color scheme of in this a lot. What? That is unbreak- un unguardable. Gotcha. Whoa. He is a mid-boss for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see if we can do this. He hits kind of like a truck. I have to jump over him. That's crazy. Okay, reaction times need to get a little better. Okay, but he still attacks too, okay. Oh, this is tough. That missed. There we go. Oh, it's tough. Okay. I got the timing down, I guess. <laughs> that was a bit garbage. What? Oh my god, he actually goes in line with the background? Are you serious? That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, now that I know what to do, this is gonna be a lot better. It's actually so cool. Oh wow, we got we got Dante, the Devil Slayer uh, version of Polnareff. 
Joseph. I hate how he's called Cool Ice in All Star Battle and Eyes of Heaven. Well, you kind of legally have to. Uh, so that's that's why. Oh, this color scheme's pretty edgy, my friends. Okay, so yeah, there, there's just a clear timing element to it, because you just have to jump forwards after the um the second second wow, because it makes it makes a clear audio cue. Yes, there we go. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Boy, it's sure a good thing I watched JoJo to know how it works. Is it going backwards now? No. Nope. Nice. Okay. I can't believe I perfected him, honestly. I mean, I guess once you know his pattern, it's not bad. But as a new... As a new person going into it, it can definitely be a, a bit scary because how fast he moves and stuff. Yeah, because all you have to do is jump forward. And then you get a free combo on him. Oh, wrong way. Don't do that. I missed. What a cool idea for a super, though. I missed. I'm not gonna finish this in style, that's fine. I'll just kick him to the face. Or the- or- or the dick. That works, too. What part is Diamond is Unbreakable? Want to read the manga now while listening to Tanner rant? That is part four, and that is the current anime. So, you can start there. It's, it's, it's probably one of my favorite parts because it's very slice of life and, you know, it, You! I could never lose to an old man like you! What? You're still alive! You must be a vampire! In that case, let me brighten your Ah! I like how it cuts him off before he says it, that's great. Way to go! Way to go, Mr. Joestar! Polnareff, are you okay? Where are Avdol and Iggy? He sacrificed himself to save us. I see. Look, I found this guy. Hey you, take us to Dio. No, please don't hurt me. Except we will, Nukisaku. What a weird, oddly Japanese name. Jotaro and company are led to the top floor by Nukisaku, one of Dio's men. Is Dio inside that coffin? Nuke Nukesaku, open that coffin! Sir Dio, I only brought them so you could kill them. I haven't betrayed you. W what am I doing in there myself? Huh? Only this Nukisaku inside- I can't read that at all. Something is- something is wrong here, Ron. I felt it too. If we stayed there like that, we could have killed us easily. This is not good. The sun has set. His time has come. That was a very quick transition. Ha ha! It is I, Patrick Sites. Final episode, Zawarudo. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how broken Dio is for a final boss. You'll never escape from me, huh? Is that Kakyoin? I'll finish you, Dio! Feel this! Emerald Splash! Fool! Realize the true strength of my stand, the world! What? No! Kakyoin! Joseph, now it is your turn to perish, old man! Sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog. Dio! 
I found his secret. My final message. Please understand it. Pack you in. Nani? Great. My voice acting is top key. What are you talking about, Akihiko Kazuro? What? Teleportation? Some kind of... This must be some kind of time travel. Stop with the teleports and the claps. You're being unnecessarily cool, Dio. So there's actually two versions of Dio in this game. There's Dio and then there's Shadow Dio. Who is Dio with his um shadow form on. Which makes it look like you can't tell who it is. Even though it's pretty obvious. Okay, I'm trying to super and it's not working. There we go. So, I mean, technically, Hamon should be, like, super effective against him. Ow. Okay, that sucked. I got you from afar. I love the Hamon one. It's so good, actually. Oh, Reaper Singer Eyes, he can't do that in this canonical form. Okay, that's tough. That's tough to hit. Stop that, Dio. Stop it. Stop it, Dio. Stop it. Dio, no. Clapping. Stop it. <laughs> Ah, uh, countered. Nice. This might get him. Totally didn't. Oh, it was so close. Didn't Joseph just almost die immediately when they faced Dio? Yeah. That's what happened. So let's try that again. This time let's select him with all colors. He can't. Does nothing. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back to cannon then. I feel like I could beat Dio. I feel like Dio is going to be easier than Geb Duel, who's uh, fun to say. I've dropped not a single frame apparently since the start of this live stream. God, that wired internet connection was a good idea for this. It's such a weird sound for the start of battle. It's like, make her fight. Engage. Yeah, so his Muda Muda can be easily countered by me using my, uh, long-ranged attack. The gut punches punch is such a cool move of Dio's, though. Ah, oh, we're gonna get it. There you go. For my family! Hyper stars and stripes. Good work, soldier. Final justice. Kakyoin, I understand your message. Your death was not in vain. Destroy the clock. Stop time. The power of Dio's stand is to stop time. So you found my secret. So what? You're still helpless against me. Tokyo Tamari. So yeah, this is his other costume, if you will, but rather more like other moveset, you know, so. Oh jeez, the knives, they hurt. The stand, it also hurts. You can do the road roller in this form too. Ow. This is not going super well so far. Will this work? It totally didn't! It whiffed! Oh god, this is... This is going pretty good. It's going pretty good. At least we still have one win on him, technically. Okay, 
come on. Ah, oh, we got him. That was bad. Oh, God. Final battle with Dio is honestly one of the one of the weirdest non non um standard final bosses I've ever seen in any sort of shonen show. It's uh very interesting. Also I yeah, I lost. Um and they censor the blood to turn it white because reasons, but um no, it's the the final fight there is is so it's not what you expect. Like when people think of of final fights, it's like, oh, I'm powering up and they fight and stuff. But no, this one's like Jotaro hides in a manhole cover and he's like, I've been waiting here for you and it's so weird and out of nowhere. So Let's try this again. Don't you taunt me. I'm Joseph Joestar, the master roostman himself. I roost a gang of people from another entire timeline. Not timeline, but like, like, ancient people and stuff. That, the range on that is nil. Reaper Stinger Eyes, my least favorite. Actually, I think they're super cool because of their dumb name. Oh god, oh god, this is not going as well as I expected. Okay, we got that at least. God, the guard breaks though. Oh, it's tough. Oh my god, he has M. Bison's death. M. Bison's crouching heavy kick. Oh my god, are you serious? Boy, Dio, it sure would be a shame if someone attacked your feet with my feet. Who would have thought <laughs> the ultimate technique? The ultimate. Oh. My god. Summon a bitch! Let's try that again. <laughs> let's see, let's see if the sliding kick is the secret technique. The real secret technique passed down by the Joestar line of lineage. Let's see, it's turn standoff and try it. They seem to learn how to guard low. Kind of. Oh, we hit. Uh oh, the knives. Oh, we're, we're done. We're done, Zo. On the blood appears. Well, at least we have the technique to finish him off in the first couple seconds, you know. Or at least the first phase, really easily. The power of the sliding dash. So let us do it! Do it to it. For some watch JoJo, surprised that Jonathan's story was almost done, even though it was like ten episodes in. Well, yeah, that's that's. Hey, they covered the story of 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 Jonathan Joestar. That's that's how long it is, you know. It's surprising, but that's what it is. <laughs> this never stops being funny. Except when it doesn't really work. Except it always seems to. Okay, well, let's not get too careless. Let's try and make sure we win at least. 
There we go. Isn't the Joestar's signature move to run away? Well, that's 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 what you think. The real secret move is the sliding dash that murders my thumb because the control pad on the Dreamcast ain't the best control pad. The stick is nice, but man, that pad. Definitely there's better. I mean, this this is pretty good too, but it's definitely not the better one. Oh my god, we're actually doing really good this time. Oh boy, he almost tried to do Tokyo Tamare. Oh no! We got you, Dio! Destroyed. Retired. Oh, my thumb hurts a bit. It's time for you to die, Dio! Duh! Stop joking, old man! Now, aren't you supposed to say I could never lose to you? Oh my god, he did the thing! I could never lose to you! Ugh! That's so good! Feel the wrath of my overdrive! No, it can't be! How could I lose? Dio cannot be beated! Kakyoin, Avdol, Iggy, I've avenged your deaths. That must be a surprise for people who don't know the story. Are they gonna do the thing? Joseph exposed Dio's body to the sunlight, and it reduced to ashes. So, it's finally over. Oh, there it is. We survived, thanks to our friends. Kakyoin, Abdal, Iggy, thank you. We finally won. At the airport, Jotaro and Joseph prepare to return to Japan. I'll miss you. Really, I will. Call me anytime if you need. I'm here for you, Monsieur Jostar. Even after all the problems, I feel I've enjoyed this experience. The death of multiple friends. Take care, you old timer and his cheap grandson. Don't ever forget me. See you later. That is, if you don't hate me, you weird-haired freak. Your wonderful personality will uh, keep me from forgetting you. Good luck. Ho ho ho! That is, hey, it's an iconic scene, and it's cool that it's in here. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Look, look at this wonderful credit scene. It's what I need, man. I need more of these. So we got, um, this is the school where you fight Kakyoin with, with, uh, Jotaro, which you don't do in this one, obviously. You got the uh, the airplane where you fight Tower of Grey, which uh, isn't actually fightable. I think it's the sprites are in the game, but they didn't fully um, put it in, so you can't really do it. Um, this is where you fight Polnareff in the fight with Polnareff, which is a very faithful representation of the weird park they went to. What else? What else? You got uh, Ball Boy, Q, Kaname, Suyoshi, all these people. You got Narancia. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice Narancia worked on this game, of course! There's Iggy with his actual battle sprite. I might do Iggy's story because it's so weird. Plus, Iggy is, is a little broken. There's Alessi looking for something. Um, after this, I am going to take a quick break because my phone's going off in the other room, so... I should probably go answer it, like my cell phone, which is, you know. So yeah, here's where Paul and Ref fought, uh, fought, fought this dude possessed by Anubis, who you actually can also fight the other dude Anubis possessed. And then, of course, you got Black Paul and Ref, which is the um, Paul and Ref, uh possessed by Anubis Devo here in the hotel room. So the sad thing is a lot of characters you actually can't fight because they have no AI. Um... 
any other character, if you will, such as um, New Kakyoin and Shadow uh, Shadow Dio, you can, but like all the all the variant ones. Um, you can't fight uh, any newcomer from this game that wasn't in the previous one because none of them have CPU, which kind of sucks. But I guess because I mean, mind you, the story mode is basically ripped right from the uh, from the last game too. So this is just sort of like the Super Street Fighter 4 of the last one. So there are new mechanics too. Man, that is that is a modeled junk someone had to make in in sprite form for 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 Vanilla Ice. Ah, oh, Mariah, you're so good. Why are you the best? Why are you the absolute best? Go follow Question Kid on Twitter right now because she has the best um, cosplay for um, Mariah ever. Whenever she posts a picture, I swoon. And she follows me, so I sometimes, like, cry. So go do that right now. Question Kid. Go search for her. She's amazing. Ree! That's my, my manly re. So did we unlock, uh, what's his face? Let's see here. I gotta check, I gotta check. Game over? Well, that's cool. I am T-A-N. My name is easy to make with this. Tan. There we go. Where, where do I place on the pantheon of challengers? Oh, my number one? Yeah! Hail to you! Right in front of the United Arab Empires. Yep, there it is, right there. So let's see, did we unlock what's-his-face? Let's see here. Ah. Uh, no, we didn't unlock young Joseph, because I guess I probably did it something wrong. Okay, so like I said, um... I'm gonna go, let's just throw on a, a backdrop, why not? Let's go Pacquiao versus Mariah, and I'm gonna go check my phone, and I'll be back momentarily. Don't worry, my dudes. So enjoy music and um, visuals. See you guys in a sec. I am just grabbing a drink of water back in three minutes.
I come back with a drink of water, and the first thing I see in the chat says Kakyoin lays an egg. This is true. This is very true. Kakyoin and the egg child is one of the weirdest things in the JoJo fandom that needs to be explained. So basically, have you guys heard of the series Card Captors, or as it's known originally, Card Captor Sakura? Well, that's done by a company called Clamp, and Clamp are um, they're, they're they're a manga group mostly known for shoujo stuff, so stuff pushed towards girls, um, and for some very strange reason, they published an uh, basically an official JoJo um, Dujin, where it was like literally Kakyoin lays an egg, and Jotaro is the father, and they make Jota, J-O-U-T-A, who looks like a combination of the two characters, and it's, it's, it's very strange, um, and it became a point where Clamp were such yaoi fangirls for, um, for, um, uh, what's it called, Jojo, that they sort of went back and then made some characters in their own works who were basically rip-offs of, 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 of Jotaro and Kakyoin because they, they loved how he was and it was it's very strange. It's a little, little weird part of history. So, so let's go. And we're gonna now do, uh, why not Iggy's story? So, there is another mode for this, where you go arcade and then you go to, um... Challenge mode, which is just, it's survival mode, that's what it is. Um, so, instead, let's go and do... Let's do Iggy's story, because his is quite remarkable. Because it's, it's strange. It's bizarre, you might say. Mm-mm-mm. Has some good water. One day, Abdul met Iggy, a stray dog from New York with incredible talents. This dog can wield a stand. It might be a great help to us. Iggy has joined Jotaro and company on their quest to defeat Dio. Where he gets thrown by, by Jotaro at Geb, so I hope we don't have to play the Geb part. Nope, Silver Chariot. That's good. Kakyoin didn't die for this. That's true. It's true, he didn't. Actually, it gets really sad then when you play Eyes of Heaven and put, like, part four Jotaro and uh, Kakyoin. He's like, wow, I can't wait to see you grown up. Okay, so we've seen this cutscene. It's like, wow, I can't wait to see you grow. It's so cool to see you grown up, Jotaro. I can't wait to see what I look like when I grow up. And Jotaro's just like, ah, uh, it's great. Jotaro canonically sounds like critical, by the way. Um, so what's our buttons that we got? Um, he's a charge character. Oh, yeah. My favorite! Yeah, boy. Get the fooling. Oh, it looks so cool, actually. It looks like 3D! Oh, but it, like, sort of comes together if you stand still? It's so cool! Aw, oh, don't make the dog yelp sounds. I can't handle that. That's cool. Can you do the, uh... The, the shadow deal thing? I think you can in this. Oh, you can fly, though. Which would make the geb... Oh yeah, there's a shadow deal thing. I farted on your face. That's a command grab. There we go. We you gotcha. Yeah, Iggy's kind of weird to play as, but I love him. 
My head headcanon is that Jotaro visits Tatooine's grave once a year. Yeah, obviously. The egg stand would be an or egg. What? Don't. Kakuin died because of the egg. Oh, I love the egg. It's my favorite JoJo meme because once, no, if no one gets it, it's funny, but then when people get it, it's even funnier. Kusodana! No! Hey, hey! Hey, help off me! Get this dog off me! This dog! The stand of sand, the, the simpler the stand is, the stronger its will to becomes. Well, I'll save Polnareff by using a little treat. You know, Iggy loves coffee-flavored chewing gum. Ow, wow, wow. Oops, he took the whole pack of chewing gum. He needs some training. Shenanigans. It's great. What would your stand be? It would be called Dreams of an Absolution, and it would just make me be Silver the Hedgehog. Yep. Make a line. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta teach this dog a lesson. Beats the dog up with Blaziken. Oh, that's... That's a cool... That's a cool move. It's just like a crash. I need, I need to use some... Some stronger techniques on it. Didn't really work, but that's okay, because we got this. So yeah, um... Uh, Magician's Red is a real, like, remote stand, which is crazy, you know? Like, the rest of them aren't remote at all, almost, but, like, his is... His is certainly totally remote, you know? But as you fight, you send him back, so that's kind of a cool system. You can still get stand crashes, though, so that's pretty easy. Got sand teleports. Okay, so this is not going as well as I would have liked. That's okay, I think we got this now. There we go. That back sand attack works. Actually, the range on that is absolutely gross. Okay, how, how do I get out of this situation? Throws, obviously. Bart on the face technique works too. Oh, we might get this still. There we go. That was close. Well, we, we're still not out yet. We're definitely still not out yet. No, we got this. Nice. That was really close. Oh. Also, I've been wondering when I was watching Stardust Crusaders, is Abdal wears is some sort of chastity belt? What? That's a really weird question that I don't think is addressed in JoJo ever. I mean, maybe? Never trust anyone anymore. Someone like that just can't be trained. <gasps> kun Kun! Yes, that's the sound dogs make. That dog, he must have noticed me. I'll finish that mutt first. Well, thankfully, we have the easiest time with the stage because of our flight, but, uh... Geb! Here we go. This is where we do... Do chain combos. It's kind of tough, too, with a dog. Like, most characters are pretty good, but he's not an average character, you know. Oh, that's it? He's gonna throw me? Well, well. Watch it! Oh, he's not gonna throw me. Okay, so let's... 
I thought he was gonna throw me right there, and I was really hoping he would. Sadly, it was not the case. Get out of here. Yeah! Dog flight! More like dog might. More like dog mighty number nine. Available now in stores. Don't buy it, please. I played it so you don't have to. No, don't make the dog make sad noises. It makes me sad. Yeah! This is the power of the stand, the fool. It can make a dog fly. Get out of here, water. No one likes you. Sand is where it's at. No! No! I might not win this on my first attempt like I first expected. What even happened? I just- everything changed. Everything changed. Then the Fire Nation- the Water Nation attacked this time. You get that one free story idea. Guys at- who made Korra. I mean, I guess there were Water Nation villains the one time, so... Ah. Keep going. Make a fight. Engage. Ah. It should be easier with, you know, with, uh, with Doggo here. But it's not necessarily the case right now. Let's just see if we can outrun it all. With our jump butt hitbox. No! Please! Oh my god! Can I just. Can I do that and use it to my advantage? Ah, oh, it didn't really work. Get rid of him. I'm going to go, game. Don't you see me freaking out on the floor? Okay, just wait. What are these explosions from right now? Why is there fire on the water? Game. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh. Oh, I hate this. This is the worst mini game of this all. It's okay though, it'll be worth it when we see when we see the ending. Plus we get to see all of his colors, like light blue Iggy. Mm-mm. -mm. Friendly reminder that Cars, villain of part two of JoJo didn't hurt a dog because unlike Dio he, even he's not that bad you know he's like he's like oh wow we splash water in this one for some reason yeah no cars was like I'm not gonna dogs are fine why, why would I beat up a dog and then Dio in the first opening seconds of meeting him he's already killed a dog you know he's like that's yep that's our boy Dio Those things take like three too many hits to kill. Let's go and go through that. Oh god, our hitbox gets bigger, which makes sense, I guess. Okay, so let's go. We still got our supers, which will be very helpful in the coming parts. Like right here, I'm gonna use it. Oh, and we can ride it if we if we if we use it with him with the standout. That that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. 
Here we go. There we go. Nice. Wasn't Giorgio, which is Giorno, supposed to be a good Dio? Kind of. Kind of, I guess. Oh, wow, 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 you're too much trouble for me, bye. And then, you know, friggin' Jotaro goes up and he's like, Yeah, you pissed me off, so I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, rah, rah, rah. Jotaro canonically has an English voice of, uh, of Critical. Didn't Cars mutilate a squirrel? No, he mutated something into a squirrel. His hands, that is. He did not hurt the animal. Stupid dog, I'll make a meal out of you. Gross, who would eat a dog? Come and fight, you witch. I'm sure that was meant to be another word. Let's do this. Let's see, let's see if we can find what his other moves are, just in case. We, we do have a Shoryuken, which is a teleport. And that's it. That's all it said. Not gonna tell us how to do the Shadow Dio move. That's fine. Just that we just know that you have it. Fart on your face, girl. Some people find that attractive, which is weird. But whatever, man. Different strokes, I guess. It'll work eventually. It'll work eventually. Once her stand breaks. There we go. Didn't even need the break. Oh man, streaming really makes you need water. God, that one sand attack is like really good. Oh god, it's getting tougher. It's okay, we got that though. Try and be a little more safe. Or maybe not. Didn't really work. Dog rush down. Or not, dog rush down doesn't work. It ain't the ultimate technique that we're all dreaming of. Okay, we hit that at least. Nice. Stand break, very nice. Oh, that, oh my god, that was a crazy dodge even for the computer. heavy attacks is the key to victory. Oh, are we talking about the George Joestar novel in, in the chat? Because honestly, I can't even start to begin to talk about that. It's the weirdest piece of canon fanfiction I've ever seen. Versus Anubis. Are we going to play fetch or something? That's what it's probably going to be. How dare a dog let you stand against Sir Dio? Talking to a dog. I hate trouble like this. I mean, hey, that's the face he had at that point, too. So weird how his face just changed as the part went on. He started looking like this st stupid dog, realistic dog. And then they gave him- or no, stupid like realistic dog, and then they gave him just- just a human face, you know? 
wonder what that one burned on his thing is. Is he a character who has to learn how to fight or something? Because that'd be interesting. Ninja. Super. Gotcha, fam. Not gonna work. God, that, that teleport is actually so good. Oh no, that's a move. He did something. It's okay though, we got this. So one cool thing is, much like the, the, the later Persona games, the Persona fighting games, you can totally do stuff where your stand is out and you have full control of yourself, you know? It's like, that's, that's some crazy stuff you got. Because, like, that's something that is kind of new for fighting games at this time. Separate characters and stuff. I mean, as far as I'm aware. Does he try and use set on... On... Iggy? Hmm, where is Jotaro's room? Bork, 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 I am dog. Who is this guy? What's with this dog? Oh, yes, I remember this dog is on their side! Stop, I'll never let you s stop, I'll never let you escape from here! Nah, I'm Lessie. You can't spell molesty without a Lessie. <laughs> oh god, that's too accurate, my man. Oh no, the guns! The one mortal enemy of dogs. Trust me, I've seen too many sad movies to know. And, um, Dio's... Uh, child form is ugly, ugly, um, I mean, Iggy. Iggy's child form is ugly, Iggy, so. Get out of here with that, son. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna become ugly. Bork. Bork, bork. I was hoping we'd get him. Oh no, we're ugly again! Run! A secret technique, wait for him to shoot and use my use my rush attack. Did you know dogs are immune to bullets if they're blocking? It's true. Sad it doesn't happen in all those like Marnie and Me movies, right? Got it. I've basically reduced myself to saying I'm never gonna watch a movie with a dog in it anymore because it always ends the same way and I can't handle it. It should be illegal to make movies with dogs in it. Like, like, like when I say that, I mean movies that that's the main thing is having is the dog in it, you know? You know what I mean, right? Like, I just, I can't handle it, my dudes. If I see there's a dog and an old man in a movie, I'm like, I'm done. We had to watch a movie in school that was literally like an old man saying goodbye to his, his dog. And I'm like, this should be illegal. This is this is not good for mental health, you know? Truly it's not. Also, truly, I'm kind of screwed right now. Unless I get one more hit in, which I'm not gonna be able to do because I'm ugly. Run! Oh god, he just axe murdered a doggo. But it's okay, because we still got one extra life. Some air combos, it seems like. Kind of.
I, oh, that just totally cancels it. The interesting thing about Set is uh, he has a set <laughs> distance for his uh, his stuff when you use it. Like he kind of hits from a from a certain distance. Oh my god, we lost. Woo! Woo! That sucked. I think I'm honestly about done with the JoJo game. I feel like I've covered it enough. So, um, let's play something else then. I want to pop in something for my collection. We'll see what's up. Actually, I'm going to save though, because that's a thing I should probably learn to do in this game if I unlock anything. Oh, cool, and then you become the chip if you get a game over. That's actually a really nice touch. <sighs> Let's try and think what else I have in my collection. I have Sonic Adventure, which I don't really want to do. Um, we'll have to see. I mean, I could. I wouldn't hate it. I mean, I enjoy Sonic Adventure. Go back to the main menu. Memory card save. Select a VMU, okay to save data, yes, there we go. Save complete, cool. Let's see what game I got. <clears throat> Back in a sec. <laughs>